Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to connect HP Smart Tank 670 to your Windows PC or actually to any PC, how to use the basic features like printing and scanning and as a bonus in the end of this video I will show you how to connect this printer to a smartphone just in 3 seconds. Let's get into it. First, make sure the Wi-Fi button is blinking on the control panel. If it's off, just press it once to activate the Wi-Fi favorite mode. Next, make sure your computer is connected to Wi-Fi network and find HP Smart application in Microsoft Store. Actually, this app is cross-platform and you can use the same setup process on Mac computers or any smartphone. So, install this app, open it, click Yes in this window, accept the terms and conditions or decline optional data if you don't want to send data to HP. Let HP Smart access your precise location. This is necessary, so click Yes. And click on Add Printer. Uh, if you're not logged into your HP account, I recommend you to do it right away because without an account you can't use all features of this application and this app is pretty good it installs drivers updates firmware allows you to print and scan and by the way this is the best free scanning application i've ever seen so login or create your hp account then click on add printer and it's searching for printers and once your printer appeared here just click on that tile and continue setup now uh, the application wants to access your Wi-Fi password. You click continue to enter password automatically or click no thanks and enter your password manually in this field. I prefer the automatic method, so continue and just wait for a while. Now it says press and release the flashing information button on your printer. So just do this and the setup is moving on. So the printer is connected to Wi-Fi, click on continue. On this screen also accept all or decline optional data. Now your printer is going to be registered in HP account. I recommend you to enable auto update because you pretty much want to use the latest firmware version. So click on apply. And you can send installation link to other devices you want to use with this printer or uh, skip sending link. For this example, let's do like this. And you can print test page, but we will print something later. Let's skip this one. And here is your application interface. You can enter the printer's settings by clicking on the printer's icon. Here is your settings. Let's go back. And you can use this application to manage your printer and manage the printer's features like printing and scanning. But actually, you don't have to use this application each time you want to print something because it allows you to print from your file system on your computer only. But let's say you want to print an email and your printer is connected to Windows so you can print from any application uh, that allows you to print. So let's open uh, my Gmail and let's find a letter I wish to print. Uh, click on the printer icon over here. It takes me to the printer dialog and make sure your printer is selected here. I have different printers, so uh, you need to click on see more if you don't see your printer in this list and select HP Smart Tank. I don't recommend you to select HP Smart Printing because uh, uh, all it does is just it's just making you to press the print button for two times. So select your printer, not HP Smart Printing. Wait for a while. Uh, now select pages you wish to print all of them out even or custom value like from 1 to 
free, for example. Uh, how many copies do you need to print? Select layout, portrait or landscape, switch between color and black and white mode. Click on more settings to select paper size if it's not set automatically. Uh, how many pages per sheet you wish to print? You can print up to 16 pages per sheet. Let's print two, for example. It's going to look like this on your preview. Uh, also, you can set margins if you print in one page per sheet. Uh, printing quality up to 1200 dpi. Uh, scale, you can upscale and downscale your document using these arrows or uh, enter value manually on your keyboard like this. Uh, and you can enable two-sided printing. This printer is capable of printing on both sides automatically. So if you need this feature, enable it. Uh, and you can print headers and footers as well and print background graphics if it's available uh, in this document. So once done, just click on print and wait for the page from the printer. As I told you before, HP Smart has pretty powerful scanning feature. So let's click on scan button in the application and adjust settings first. You can select preset, you can select document, photo, multi-item, book or ID card. It allows you to copy two sides on one page. Uh, also select your scan area or switch to entire scan area and adjust borders manually later. Select output, color or grayscale and resolution up to 1200 dpi, but 300 is very good for documents. Higher resolutions are for photos usually. Uh, also, you can click on this magic wand and enable auto enhancements, uh, auto heal, auto orientation. Uh, so adjust your settings and place your document on the scanner glass. To do this correctly, put the side you wish to scan facing down and make sure the top left corner of your document is aligned with the top left corner of the scanning surface and fit the edges of your document snugly to the borders of the scanning unit. Then close the lid and just click scan button in the application. So once the result appeared on your screen, you can add more scans. You can change sources, you can uh, add documents from scanner glass, you can import from your gallery. But for some reason, you can add just only uh, images. You can't add PDF files to the scan. So let's select any file. Then detect edges. Uh, you can click on full to capture the full image or just drag these dots to adjust edges manually. Then click on apply. And your documents appears here. So you can switch to this square view. In this mode, you can rotate images. You can select any amount of images and use these buttons to rotate. To rotate them together. And click done to save your result. Uh, also, you can add more pages. You can scribble on your documents. Let me show you how it works. So I have some saved marks because I've already used this application, but you can create new one. You can skip this tutorial, select thickness, make, for example, your signature like this, just draw on the screen. You can add text like this, click down and then move your signature or text across the page. You can switch page and add marks on another pages as well, like this. And as always, done to save. Uh, also, you can switch back to this large view and here you have three dots. You can replace or delete any page or edit it. A lot of settings here, too much for free application. Uh, I love it so much. Uh, you can adjust uh, your image, brightness, saturation, contrast, and so on. Apply filters, add text, mark up your document. You can crop to a standard size or custom cropping, just like drag the angles like this. Done to save once again. 
and recently they added text extract features but there is no text on my uh, images so uh, try to use it yourself i don't know uh, is, is it works better than in adobe acrobat for example just test it uh, so once done you can share the file if sharing is set up on your computer use shortcuts send fax print the document right away but for this example we're going to save the document uh, if you want to save all pages into one file you need to select pdf because a jpeg and other formats doesn't support multi-page file oh recently they added uh, word format so you can save in word format as multi-page as well uh, rename your file if you need then select compression you can compress file a little bit to reduce size and also you can select language but if the languages are not installed you need to install new language over here so click on save it takes you to the system dialog select a place let's let's say desktop save your file and it's right here after you've set up your printer on a computer, if you want to add it to your smartphone, just install HP Smart application, tap on Setup or Add Printer, and select Already Connected to Network. Make sure your smartphone is connected to the same Wi-Fi network as your computer. Tap on that, select your printer, and you're all set. That's it, guys. Your printer is up and running. If this video was helpful, consider to subscribe to our channel, hit the like button to support us, and see you in the next videos. Be awesome. Bye, guys.